Namaste children. I am your Anupam ma'am and this is your EVS class. In this class we are going to study about plants around us. And what things we are going to study about the plants? Let's see. Let's recall in previous chapter we have uh, already studied about uh, roots, different types of roots that are tap roots and fibrous roots. In third chapter, we have studied about uh, fruits and uh, flowers. And in this chapter, we are going to study about habitat of plant. Do you know children what is habitat? In class 3, we, you have studied about habitat of animals. Let's recall that the natural home of a living organism is called habitat. For example, where does fish live? Yeah, fish lives in the water. So water is its habitat. Tiger lives in forest. Forest is its, is its habitat. Exactly like this. Plants also have its habitat. Some plants live in hills. Some plants found in water. Some plants found on des in desert. So these are their habitats so on the basis of habitat plants are divided into different groups so in this chapter we will study about the plant according to their habitat on the basis of habitat plants has been divided into two types terrestrial hab terrestrial plants and aquatic plants what is terrest terrestrial plants you have studied about terrestrial animals Yes, animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Likewise, plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. There are many different types of there are many different types of terrestrial plants. Like uh, you can see around us, mango tree, people tree, banyan tree. These plants grow on plains and growing on lands that's why these are called terrestrial plants now terrestrial plants are also further divided into different types like plants on hills plants on desert plants on uh, uh, marshy areas so in this chapter we will study about these things students plants growing at different places are different in appearance and structure let us find out how plants found at different places differ from one another. First, plants of hills. Have you ever visited any hill station? This type of plants do you observe there? Those plants are tall and straight. Their leaves are narrow and needle shaped. These tall, straight and green conical trees make hills appear green and beautiful. These plants are generally, uh, leaves have generally conical and needle shaped. Do you ever think that why the leaves are conical in shape? Because the conical shape of these trees does not allow snow to get deposited on them. Because in hilly areas, in winter season, there is heavy rainfall and uh, snow get deposited on the trees so to avoid this problem the plants are naturally in conical conical in shape and their leaves are needle shaped so they does not uh, do not allow snow to get deposited in them so what are the example of uh, trees that found in hilly areas that are pine tree devdar tree spruce tree Spruce, pronounced well, spruce tree, fir tree are some of the plants which grow on the hills. Okay, now next is plants of plains. Now, have you ever visited any villas? What did you notice? People, banyan, mango, sal, sesium are some of the plains. Plants found in plains. They grow into trees having many branches. 
you can see around us in your school also in around your home also there are different uh, trees because we are living in plains we are not living in desert we are not living in uh, hills so these plants you can see around us only people banyan mango so this is assignment for tomorrow think and write why hilly plants are conical in shape make a list of trees or plants having many branches and name the plants you find in villages or around your house or in your school so make this uh, do this assignment and send on my personal whatsapp number thank you